Okay, Fred dropped it on the floor. Kicked it a few times. Then he stepped on it. On my toes. With the safety shoes. And for some reason it fits now, I don't know why. So, when you put pressure on these here so it sits against the head and you shove it all the way in, because now we got movement like this, and it's flush with the frame like it's supposed to be now, see? So there you go. Mm. It was simple. It didn't take any time at all. Uh, uh, really? <laughs> like it's like an hour. In the real world, we bent this at 22 and a half degrees from here each way, and then we bent this back this way, and we took the twist out so it was equal. So now when you tighten the nut here, this then stays down. You tighten this nut, this one stays down, and you shove it all the way in, it hits against the frame equally. So yeah, we had to modify it a little bit. And this is some nice thick material, so it, uh, it takes, a little, takes a little pressure, which this is good. Is that means it'll hold the bike, the motor, nice and square while we're beating the tar out of it. That would be a good thing. All right, well, I think I've had too much fun tonight. Too much fun? We haven't got anything. We're not going to have a bike running yet. We haven't got anything done. Yeah, I got that, but, uh, you know. Leaving all early? Okay, where's your blue lock tap? We need some water. Where's your washer at? Yes. Where's your other bolt at? We haven't got your clutch on here yet. I was going to put your clutch back on here. Where's your clutch? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you want to go home early. It, it ain't. It's early for you. Yeah. We've had this conversation every time. <laughs> early for me? I've been up all night. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Trying to make me yawn? Is that the deal? Good luck, luck on that. Good, Good luck on that happening. Okay, where's your big bolt? Two big washers would be nice. Skimpy ass washer you've been using. You could just drop everything. Yeah, I even got a big nut here. I like this. A big nut I just found. There's a real nut. We're gonna use that nut. Find a washer. Special top right thick washer. It's not there. Top right. Your super duper washer drawer. I got two grade eight ones. What did I say? Top right, grade eight, eight, grade eight, grade eight. Grade roll, red. So why are we putting a grade eight nut on it? Where's the nut I just have? Right here. No, the other nut. 
Should come in from that side to this side. So the answer would be yes. The bolt's almost too short now. Where's the nut? Right here. With oh, that big thick nut, nut on there? Where are you going the other way? This is the correct way of doing it for us. Hey, hey. That's oh. it. Knock it over. Just broke the camera. Yeah, I saw Can that. You see what he's doing? Fred did that on purpose. I'm not gonna hold this beast over here with a wrench. Five ace. Right here. Why oh, you got it over there? I'd use that. You like that one? I got it. Is this an air pack pocket? Is your thumb gonna do that? I got it from the thumb. You ready? Huh? This ain't moving. Whatever you oh. do. Yeah, the nut keeps tightening. Oh, you just, you just gnarly this thing, the washer. What did I do over there? You gnarly it. You mean that grade 8 washer wasn't quite grade 8 material? Come over. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> it was that Tetro Torque. Uh, uh, you gnarly this thing. It's only a 3 8 butterfly. It's you just a little see, small. You gotta see this washer, man. It's just a little baby butterfly. You, this side looks good over here. I like this side. How's this look from your side? Well, that's what I'm saying. Look at it. Over there. Uh, I would say you bent the crap out of it. Uh, I just warmed it up a little bit. Okay. So that grade eight washer was not up to snuff. Well, it wasn't up to tape really snuff. Okay. Now you're using a big hammer, aren't you? Factory torque. Beat it with a hammer. These aren't really tightening up that well. I'm going to get a little torque to them now. This red nuts in the way. How come we get these stupid red nuts on here? They're in the way. And how many years have you done this? Huh? How many years have they been in the way? Ever since they were on there. <laughs> the red nuts stick out. Okay, is that in there tight? <laughs> uh, no, it's loose. Okay, the motor's loose? Okay. Where's your uh, rusty motor? What? Who's your in the primary? I don't know. Over here? Somewhere? We can't do the, uh, we can't put the primary drive until we get the inner primary on there, Fred. How's my arm look? Looks good. Your hand, do you I had my arm over like this. Oh. Looks good. Okay, where's the inner primary? Can you shut up and smell something? Shut up. It's chrome. It's like crap. Can I have any chrome? Yeah, I yeah. Can I have chrome?
That's what I found, Brad. What's that? Guess what I found? I found the parts. See, I found those motor mount bolts you hit from me. The whole pan and the motor mount stuff. Which is specifically put there. The interesting thing. Oh, what's it? Too late. Where's the, uh, where's the generator at? Find the infirmary? No. I don't know something. That's the fresh air. Freaking hot in here. Find the infirmary yet? No, I didn't find the infirmary. I don't know. Oh, that thing? Come on, put your hand on it. Oh, this one. <laughs> it isn't a snake and it bit me. That would be inner primer. It was a snake and it bit me. You want me to clean this now that you've got everything unwilling like? Oh, uh, yeah, I thought I should clean it. I need to get this generator in those first. Here, stick this in there for me. Or you want to do the screws? You going to do the screws on it? No, I've been working on other important stuff. You didn't do this yet, sir? I told you that need to be oh, done. Oh, you didn't listen to me. To also, to you, you're missing the ding. This is filthy. It's just belt drive on it. You tell him something, he doesn't listen. Where's the, um, I listen all the time. I just don't listen to anything important. Which should be me. <laughs> he doesn't listen to anything important. Which should be me. There's your half inch up. The half inch? Yes. It's like 716. It might look like that, but it's not. I need to open it. Loosen it, I got it. Just don't drop it in there, right? Find the damn thing. Where's it? I got it. Can you hand it to me? Sorry, Tom. Yeah, that's what it's for. Just don't drop it in the case, right? What case? Oh, the case. Do I have to take the motor for it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, that's what I found. Okay. I don't know where the gasket goes yet. This goes in the hole over there, Fred. It goes in the hole. Let me kick that a couple times first. That goes over there. From the from this oh you know what? the same thing is it gonna get it can we get in this is in the way now isn't it oh you're fine Fred it'll fit coming in this way no it comes in from the other side move this wire out of the way here I'll move the wire for you how's that let's see what are we gonna all right let me undo this thing that doesn't work then come in from this direction yeah. come up this way then okay. put the butt in first yeah I got it I was about to do that and you said no it'll go this way well, I took it out. I think the instruction label's on the bottom. Just hang on a second. What's in the way? What's this right here? Oh, somebody put a mouse trap in here. I watch did. your fingers. Oh, you're gonna tell me to watch my fingers. Is this gonna break off the fins when it goes backwards? It looks like it's angled that way. See, that wasn't on there before. I need to press it, man. I need to angle that damn thing out of my way. You got that damn nose trap and angle right at the motor so it's going to take out the fins. Yeah, see what's sort of line with that? It's called fins. Was they, were they in there when we put the mouse trap on? The fins were on the motor the whole time, yes. The motor wasn't here when we put this in. See, that was a quick job, just throw it in there and be done with it. Nothing's quick. I think this is the rod right here, Fred. It's rusty and everything. Well, then I'll take this one off and put that one on later. That? Oh, that was the one that came off the 49 and one or the other. Which one do you hey. want? Hey! Which one do you want on the 49? The big ass hole here now. Somebody watching? Yeah, the camera's on. Ow! Can you do that again? I missed that. Ow! What'd you do? Where am I lining the holes up? You want these two on the top, right? Where are you at? Right here. And the gasket's in the right spot. Hmm? The gasket needs to move then. Pull it out a little bit. Pull it all the way up. 
Stop. Yeah, pull it out. I can't get the gas gauge. You waited so long, the gas gauge froze up on there. Rotate the gasket counterclockwise. Is that the hole? That's the, this is the... That's the last hole. That's yeah. the one we're going to have to use then. Okay. If that's the last pair, that's the pair we're going to use. a little bit. I think we're just starting. There we go. Got the bottom one to start. You have to go with that. Okay. Is it in? Yeah. Oh, don't break it. Don't break it off. Really? Yeah, don't have access to the... What the hell's going on there? This is not the right cam cover for the big screws. So I can't get in here to make this work. area right in here. The room. We need some clearance there, Clarence. Clearance, clearance. Hey, there's a bunch of parts in here you might need. Oh, you sorry. Something? You don't need them anymore. That's right. We don't need anything anymore. We do need a cutter. We'll use this one right here. Hey, that, that hurts when you stand on it with a pair of feet. When you bump into it with a pair of feet. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so now we're going to have to go make a mess here. I don't have the right tool here, but we'll use this one. over here? Mm. It's not there now. You have a perfectly good uh, cam cover. It wasn't perfectly good because it's an ugly ass one. Not only is it chrome, it's only got four fins. What's even worse? But you know what? It'll work. I can tighten my screw down now. Oh, I think you missed almost all of that. Good thing it was barely getting view of it. And I can go in there even further too, but I good thing I stopped there because that's good. Now we gotta put the bolt on here, under here. There should be a washer under here. You got a washer? You got a washer over there in the pan that's all cup shaped. Five sixteenths. That washer. That washer, the right washer. Let's grab this one over here. Does it fit? Is it five sixteenths? No. No. What is this one I got right here? Now we don't know if the generator needs to be pushed down or not, so could I just tighten it down without it? So this is basically just going to be for show. How's the show looking? Been pretty good. There you go. Almost won the championship. And there it lose is. Lose a light. Looks like the looks like you got this on sideways, Fred. I was gonna say it seems like a gap over here. Yeah, that is a gap. Who did that? You got a hammer and a punch? How about a big screwdriver? Not a big screwdriver. Remember, never use a screwdriver as a punch. Do you like it there? That's or go some more? No, no, that's too much. Right there's too much. Too much? 
I'll have to tighten my nut down now. They're not, not tight enough yet. Hey, it got loose. Well, that's got torque on it now. That's enough. Lovely. Yeah, what, what happened to the, um, what else we were working on? Oh, the inner primary. How's that inner primary coming, Fred? I need to clean it. We'll be back. Or I can work on something else. I got some crappy oil lines laying over here I don't like at all. I hate them. I can't stand these pieces of crap line. They make me bleed. So we're going to put it back on the bike because they're sitting here waiting to be used. And if I don't use them, who will? Nobody else has put them on their bike. They're too damn ugly. Look at that. We got one of these. One of these. Pretty impressed with this got one of these ugly ones here. What was that, Fred? And I'm pretty impressed with all the pieces missing off of it. It's it's still the fit. I think this goes this way, Fred. You like the fact it's a pile of crap, you said? Should I do a crossover oil lines or a standard oil line? Is that the fitting rebuilt or replaced? There we go. How's that one? We put the rubber right next to the hot part of the exhaust system. Wasted energy. I have a lot of wasted energy. So you need to put these, look at this, you need to put that in the grinder and that one on the grinder. That's some nasty. The grinder's right over there. I need a couple of big wrenches in there. All I got is that one. Five eighths. That's the first one. No, it's over on this side. I got it. Fred's going to work on the grinder. I got to see this. You mean this grinder or that grinder? Show them the quality merchandise. Look at this. What's up? What's up with this spooge all over here? Uh, somebody was grinding earlier and they got some spooge on there. Jeez. This before you turn it on? I'm just asking about the disc before I turn it on. Did you look at it before you turn it on? Like it's gone? Don't put your hand on, it'll hurt. Did you get dirty? There you go, rag sir. You got a clean rag. Look at that nice clean rag. That was a clean rag. You gonna wipe off the spooge while it's returning there? No, if I do, then the rag's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Why you got spooge all over there? Yeah, because that, that container up there is all liquefied. Now, if you look at the grinding disc, it's damaged. You know, see that white spot on the outside edge? Yeah, don't put your hand on it. But yeah, you see that going on in a circle right there? Yeah. Don't put the uh, primary in that area. It'll wind, you might wind up wearing the primary cover, if you know what I mean. Oh, you got a big old... It has some issues. Brand new disc. So over here. Look at that. You see that little spot right there? Hey, why didn't you tell me it was there? Okay, now if you stay off of that area, it works good. Now if you get in that area, you might have some issues. 
think you got a bearing issue going on? Maybe. Now, if you take the primary cover and flip it over so the flat side is down, it probably won't hit you in the face either. Okay, you got all the important parts figured out now? Why don't you use the other tool you why said? Do you do things, why don't we do things ass backwards around? Fred, what did you just say? What, what, what the frick, man? What'd you do? Oh, by the way, I missed this spot. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. Is that okay? Gee. You also don't Fred, are you passing gas again? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where the grinding has been going on. Some D, some D torque. It's got torque over there. It's got some torque. You mean I picked out the good tool? Did you try that Mat Matfo Co thing there? It's not a Mat Co, but it's Mat something. So can we? Can I grind where the? Uh, you know, the little boogers things here, like the. What, you, somebody had taken the, it. The, you mean the, the hang tail? The hang tail there? You? Like every one of these things. That's you can uh, feel free to play with that a little bit if you want. You want to chop in half? You can use that one behind it. No, that's fine. That Malco thing. That Malco thing got some more torque. See, I got high torque tools because I purposely inspected all the stuff before I bought it. I picked out what I wanted. Another fed plan. Alright, I got this long tightened up. And I had access to it. Hey! It's gonna shit my way. So we're uh we're trying to keep it out the motor. Good pressure on the exhaust system and the rubber hose. We're going to throw the oil, the return oil is on the inside instead of the outside because it goes right down here to come back out. So coming from here to here doesn't let the, anything over on the other side work. So at least cross it over. So that's called a crossover design. Jesus, this thing is. Stuff all over my bike over here. Right. You're getting me in trouble. Right. Maybe I should rinse this off again. I got an open dam on a bike over here. You know, the oil line fit is wide open over here, you know. Fred's making a mess. Okay, now I don't know where the exhaust pipe is, so I'm going to put it over here somewhere. I might come back and fine tune this to keep it off the exhaust system. Twist it a little bit. Twist moves it in, which might help us, might hurt us, I don't know. That's debatable. Plate that comes out, probably gonna hurt us. Uh, 
like the same size. Oh, it's the same size. Damn it. I got that much oil seepage. Not too bad. Oh, there's a couple, there's one drop on the bike too. All right, I got a drop of oil on the bike over here. You got a drop of oil on the bike? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna personal problem. change out the oil line over here, I got a drop. Hey, you know if I get the jack stand out, the jiffy stand out of the way, you might put that. Oh, is that in the way over there? This oil line was leaking before, wasn't it? I was thinking it was leaking. I think everything was leaking before. We had a lot of leaks, yeah. This, um, this hose doesn't seem to be the exact same size as the. Uh, okay. Small screwdriver. Crescent wrench around here. Small, croissant. smaller one. Need a croissant wrench. I need 11 sixteenths of what I need. I know I'm going to tempt fate by going to this garbage home tool storage system here. Oh, look at these quality. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Oh, it's a Craftsman and everything. Oh, this is a blue one. That makes it worth more. Navy thing, they paint everything a different color. Oh, is that what it every is? Every toolbox. Yeah, they're every they're like bunches of toolbox exactly the same. They're like, well, I don't make sure nobody steals my crap. I'm gonna paint everything blue. How did yeah, that work? This, this, it doesn't work for crap. I think the line was left loose was the problem. I remember there's a leak in here. You have no access to this area when you got the pipe together. Okay. Once you put the brake and an exhaust system on here. There's like nothing. Now right now we got an air leak right here because I got this pressure switch out. And that's sitting right here waiting to go in. So that should self-prime a little bit. And I'll come back in a while, be a big lake under here. 
gonna just go ahead and put this in right now. Come on. What'd you do over there? Uh, stupid cheap ass freaking. Use the uh, quarter drive uh, system. Stupid cheap ass. Where's the socket at? Where's the clip? Somebody left the damn line loose over here. You got the ratchet over there? Oh, it's over here. I'm good. I got it tight. Let's see, this is how you do it. Here, Fred. I got it. It's done. Hit it with this. Hmm? Hit it with that. Make sure you do it right. I could do it left. Nope. Is it tight now? It doesn't appear to be tight. It appears to be good. I don't like the hose laying down on this, but I don't think it's going to do it anymore. You mean on the brake rod? Yeah. It goes in a little bit. You have to shove the brake in. Oh, right. Never mind. No, I don't know. Push it away. No, no, you gotta work. Pull the lever in the back. Yeah, like that. Shove it in. There you go. I hit it. Yeah, I think if I hit it with that hammer hard enough, it still would have gone. Maybe. It's a lot easier if you just move it correctly. Where's all this mess down here? Why don't you clean this thing? You know, I didn't, I didn't even you it. don't clean stuff before we start. I took it apart. I haven't put it together. We still got to put a tranny together yet. You got to put the inner primary on. We don't have the tranny on there. Do you have hmm? access for the primary on there to do the tranny? Hmm? No. No? Well, how am I going to go? There's no sprocket over here, Fred. Oh, yeah. You're missing some pieces. I'm missing a couple things. I think we should wait and come back and do this later. What are you I doing tomorrow? So. I will come by tomorrow in the afternoon. We're going to light this thing off tomorrow? Well, except they're going to have somebody else here to help. We'll be here after two. Yeah, you right. think I'll be happy when I do that? I'll be out here. Yeah, I'm going to work on the exhaust system a little bit. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. I'm back! So we're not gonna, back! We're not going to make it run today? No, I don't think so. Oh, damn it. I'm going to miss the race. Well, what time is it? That's why I went and got a beer. What time so, is it? That's why I went and got a beer. Well, the race ends at, at ten. Exactly at, at ten. So, uh, thirty-seven minutes from now. Oh, I can almost get this. I can get it done. I can get over there and line up, get inspected, be ready to go in thirty-seven. I can do that. We can't even get out of this building in thirty-seven. <laughs> Couldn't even get it off the damn rack and over there in thirty-seven. Did you look at my driveway again? Yeah. Forget. Can't get the motorcycle rack, the motorcycle trailer, yeah. where it's supposed to be in thirty-seven. Minutes. That's right. All right, I'll see you guys around. All right, Fred's done. Fred's done for the day. We're, we're peeling back the onion at the rescue. And I'm not sure I'm what talking, that means. It's a big freaking onion. Right, peel back all of the crap and fix all of it. I think that's the pipe back. that came off the pipe because it's been all welded. That's right. So I'm thinking this is the one that goes on it. Yeah. Now, do you think this is going to fit the bike now that it's been modified? Mm -hmm. We have a different motor now. Yep. It's going to sit higher. Because every time you move the heads, things change. All right. All right. I don't even know where my exhaust system. I stole the exhaust. It's got a pan in San Diego. There it is on the other side. It's got a pan head pipe stuffed in it. That's what it is. We've made a mess over here. Everywhere. Not leave a mess. So I have a pan head exhaust system sitting here. I never leave a mess. I got to convert this back to a shovel head system. Damn, this painted pipe works so nice. It's the best fitting pipe I've ever had. I couldn't believe how good this thing fit. I'm going to have to keep this special place. Okay, now this has been opened up in here to get more air for us. See, they're not supposed to be quite this tight going in. Here's doesn't want to go. There, perfect fit. There, that one in there like there's no effort at all. I probably should cut the back of the pipe and raise it up a little bit too. I've always disliked that. Alright, where's the S pipe at? See so I gotta find where all the parts are hidden. Somewhere over here, over there. The rest of the exhaust system for this vehicle. I think this is the dash cover in the air cleaner. We'll watch this. Let's see. Nope. Oh, what's this? Oh, 
this is it. I see it. There it is. That got cut in two spots. See? It's like right on it. There it goes. Oh, it still fits. Look at that. It's almost like it was made for it. Look at that. It fits perfect. There we go. See this side all drops in. Goes under there. Comes back up. We're golden. We need a little bolt to go in this hole right here, though. Fred took all my hardware. Uh-oh. I don't want to know if I'm going to make the races in the next half hour. Let's see. Nope. Hello. Yeah. I'm working. It's a night race. Yes. All right. Nope. I haven't made it yet. Wow. Uh, ain't gonna happen tonight. That's for sure. I'll be in there a little bit. I gotta go. Bye. All right. So looks like the exhaust system still fits up on here correctly. I'm drop that down so you can see better. So it's. Still plugs in here like it's supposed to. Under here. Bolt through here, lays in there. I got the bolt holding it right there. Everything else is tucked in like it's supposed to be. The problem with this bike is this pipe is angled downhill because I didn't make it fit correctly when I made it the first time. So we gotta figure out how we get done. We gotta get the muffler up in the air a little bit. I got this modified muffler I made. Now the reason I got it up in the air is because I thought that was level when it was on the rack. Oh, it's over there. The other problem is it hits the frame. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we can go up higher. Pipe as you can see, it's angled downhill, and it hangs back pretty far too. So if I start doing wheelies taking off because of traction, I'm gonna have a problem. It's gonna cause me to crash, and this thing digs in back here. It's got its tips all digging already. Already, it's already been digging in on something. So we're hitting right here on the frame, which is one problem. The other problem is if you angle this pipe back up this way. It knocks the pipe out up in here, which we can't have. So what I need to do is I need to cut the damn thing up under here someplace. We have a ton of clearance up under here. So I think I'm going to cut this thing real close to this weld right here. I'll take a pie cut, move this whole damn pipe up. And I might have to come out a little bit and do a secondary cut back in here. Make like an S-bend right in here. I'd like to move this whole muffler way forward, so. so if I make a little bit of an S bend through here, but we gotta clear the kicker, which we don't even have on the bike yet. Now this is the kicker that sticks way the hell out because you need it. I don't think this is the kicker, I don't know if I was using this kicker or not. 
There's a couple kickers laying around here. See, this thing sticks way out. We don't need an offset. This kicker can be straight up and down. We don't need this big offset kicker. So I thought there was another kicker floating around, Fred said. See how this one here is not off? It's got very low offset. This is what we need. We don't need a big offset kicker. So where happened to the other kicker? Problem is finding all these parts. I do not see the kickers. Well, there's a the throttle we're gonna need. Good thing I found that. We needed that. All right, so I'm gonna look for another kicker that's uh, not offset like this. But I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make an S pipe. I'm gonna make a little S bend in this thing. So that means I gotta cut it over here at 45 degrees over here. So whatever we come up, we come out. And then I can shorten this pipe way up and make it fit better, do a double S on it or something. I'd rather have the exhaust pipe sitting out a little bit further. Back a little further and see better. I never liked this how it was going together here. Be more about up in this area here. I like it a lot better when it's further up. Definitely, maybe no more than this far back. It's probably the best. That's in the middle. That's three quarters of the way up. Somewhere in this area here, we need to put this pipe. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet go up a lot higher than what this bracket is, but not that high. Maybe that high. There. There's a mock-up. You like my mock-up? It'd be nice if it set up a little higher. A little shorter, a little higher. That looks pretty nice right there, I think. It's a lot better than it was. Yeah, definitely a big improvement. Yeah, I don't. Too far back is not good either. You'd probably come back an inch or so, but no more than an inch further back, I think it'd be fine. So. We don't have to modify that exhaust pipe to do that, so more cutting and dicing. Definitely makes it look a lot better. A lot more ground clearance, a lot more wheelie clearance. Definitely a way to go. And when I switch over to the pan head, I can still use the same lower pipe muffler. That's all stuff would stay put, wouldn't change any. Alright, I think that's it for tonight. So we need to make it to the race. Oh well, there's always another one <clears throat> down the road. Too bad it's not a pan it up on top though. All that work and I still got shovel heads on it. Oh well, we're gonna run at the track though. Sometime in the next month or so we'll run this thing and have some fun with it. So, all right, that's it for tonight.